Welcome to Haywood Castle, uh, this wonderful remaining gatehouse, which is virtually all that's left of uh, the Bishop's Palace, which stood here uh, and was the stronghold of the Archbishops of York. At this moment, at this moment, there are similar gatherings at 24 other landmark sites across Britain. Almost the whole population is within 50 miles of a landmark today. So we stand here as part of a united network of celebration of Britain's architecture and history and of the Landmark Trust. And to mark this special occasion, we've commissioned an anthem for Landmark from composer Kerry Andrew, which will now be performed simultaneously across all 25 sites by local musical groups who have each devised their own version of the core theme. And so without further ado, I'd like to introduce Stanton Waits uh, to perform their version of the anthem for that. Pushing the sky upwards, we make our friends in sunlight's dawn. building was the gatehouse and the East Range are now all that remains. Almost all the other structures having been deliberately destroyed or dismantled at the end of the Civil War. The gatehouse stayed in use as an Episcopal court for a time, for which purpose the attached staircase was built, but by the late 20th century had fallen into very poor repair. Despite being Grade 1 listed and scheduled ancient monuments, the remaining buildings were in a dangerous condition with divided ownership and had been damaged and obscured by a series of farm buildings. 1985, the Landmark Trust bought the gatehouse and the East Range, reunited them, undertook an extensive program of repair and reinstatement. And three years later, Cayward Castle was open to visitors. Pushing the sky upwards, we make our friends. Oh, so 